what we're doing is we're retesting because we want to make absolutely sure there's nothing that's uh, unusual about the track right now. Is something wrong with the racetrack? A renowned researcher back at Churchill Downs this week after nine horses have died there since the week before the Kentucky Derby. This is Wave News at 11. I'm John Bolt. Churchill Downs confirmed to us today that the director of AG Equine Programs at the University of Kentucky, Dr. Mick Peterson, was at the track yesterday to run additional diagnostics on the track. Wave News reporter David Ochoa talked to Dr. Peterson about what he's looking for right now. Yeah, about a month ago, before the Derby, Dr. Peterson was at the Downs running tests on the track. He compared it to a pre-flight checkup. Now he was back yesterday to run more tests to what he said was out of an abundance of caution. Nine horses have died at Churchill Downs between April 27th and May 14th. Wild on Ice, Take Charge Brianna, Code of Kings, Parents Pride, Chasing Artie, Chloe's Dream, Freezing Point, Swanson Lake, and Rio Moon. Some injuries happened on turf, others on the main track. There have been the uh, current concerns with these uh, catastrophic injuries. Churchill Town spokesman Darren Rogers confirmed to Wave News that Dr. Mick Peterson was at the track on Tuesday to run more tests. He says Peterson is widely considered the world's foremost racing surfaces researcher, and he was here last month before Derby Week to run tests. Roger says those tests were consistent with previous testing. This retest then is we're going back and comparing it not just to our pre-meet inspection, we're also comparing it to last year and the last three years to make sure that there's nothing that's changed over time. They use a machine that mimics the leg of a galloping thoroughbred to test the surface. They also take samples from seven locations around the track, use ground penetrating radar, and check if the crossfall and the super elevations in the turns are consistent. Peterson says so far, they haven't seen anything wrong with the track. Churchill Downs has been a leader in this from the very beginning. We've been working with them since 2008 on these uh, measurements on a regular basis. He says they do the test to try and make every track as consistent as possible for the horses. But as for identifying what's actually dangerous, Peterson says they don't actually know. But what they do know is that consistency is key. You need to know if your horse is fit and be able to recognize if, there's, if the horse is off on a particular day. And so by having a track that's consistent from day to day, the trainer has additional information and can make better decisions. Here's what the track looked like on Wednesday, a day after Peterson was there. They're doing regular maintenance, and you can see equipment similar to what Peterson described. We're going through and doing the comparison back for four years, which we, we, we need to know. In a statement to Wave News, Roger said, quote, injuries are multifaceted, and so far there's been no discernible pattern detected in the recent injuries sustained. David Ochoa, Wave News.